Fans of the past, we are glad to have you back on our channel. Today marks the beginning of an incredible adventure in which we will attempt to solve the mysteries surrounding the long-lost city of Pompeii. This Roman city was buried in volcanic ash for centuries, and as a result, it has preserved a picture of life in the past. Come with us as we uncover the mysteries that lie within this old city as we stroll through its well-preserved streets and investigate its enigmatic remains. From its vibrant daily life to the fateful day of the eruption of Mount Vesuvius, we will delve deep into the haunting past of Pompeii. Our tale begins in the first century AD in the province of Campania, which is located in the southern part of Italy. Pompeii was a bustling city that was situated close to the Bay of Naples and had a population of roughly 20,000 people. It was a bustling center of trade, business, and culture, and it was brimming with theaters, spas, temples, and stately mansions. The moment we set foot on one of Pompeii's ancient cobblestone streets, we are thrust into the distant past. The Romans were masters of urban design, as seen by the remarkable degree to which they preserved the city's original layout. The major streets, such as the Via della Bondanza, were lined on both sides with businesses of various kinds, including shops, bars, and workshops. We can nearly hear the echoes of the past as we walk along these historic streets, and we can imagine what life was like in this bustling Roman city when it was in its heyday. Ancient map of Pompeii's street layout in Pompeii, the roads were carefully paved with stones and the sidewalks were elevated to protect people from the muddy conditions. The city's infrastructure also contained a sophisticated drainage system, which ensured that the city's streets were always clean and clear of puddles and other forms of standing water. The vibrant frescoes that adorned the walls of the buildings that lined these streets served as a showcase for the artistic talent that existed during that time period. These frescoes offered a glimpse into the visual culture of Pompeii by depicting scenes from mythology, daily life, and even ads. Frescoes showing scenes from Pompeii. As one makes their way through these old streets, it becomes clear that Pompeii was a city that teemed with activity, had a rich variety of inhabitants, and had a bustling commercial environment. Theaters and Entertainment The active theater culture of Pompeii was one of the city's many appealing features. The city was home to a number of theaters, the most impressive of which was the magnificent amphitheater, which had seating for as many as 20,000 people. Entertainment for the populace of Pompeii typically took the form of gladiatorial contests, chariot races, and theatrical productions. The amphitheater of Pompeii is an extraordinary structure that still survives today, allowing us to envision the majesty and size of the events that took place within its walls. Gladiators would engage in bloody battles, putting their lives in danger for the sake of the audience's entertainment. The musical performances and poetry recitations that took place in the smaller theaters, such as the Odeon, were known as orations. These venues were not only sources of entertainment, but also platforms for intellectual and cultural exchange, fostering a vibrant artistic community in Pompeii. The Odeon of Pompeii. Your hosts are... The theaters of Pompeii served as gathering places where citizens of all social classes could come together to enjoy the performances and engage in shared cultural experiences. The intricate bathing facilities that Pompeii had to offer were another remarkable part of the city's everyday life. The Romans placed a high priority on cleanliness and recognized the health advantages that came with regular washing. The residents of Pompeii would congregate at one of the city's many public baths, such as the Stabian Baths or the Forum Baths, in order to cleanse themselves and engage in social interaction. These baths were more than just places to wash. They were centers of relaxation and leisure. For instance, the Stabian Baths included hot and cold rooms, saunas, and even exercise areas in their facilities. People in Pompeii were able to enjoy a genuinely luxury lifestyle thanks to the sophisticated plumbing systems that provided a steady flow of water throughout the city. The baths were social venues where individuals would meet to catch up with friends, discuss politics, and do business. They were an essential component of Pompeii's social fabric, playing an important role in the development of community and connections. In addition, Pompeii was home to exquisite villas that were owned by the city's upper class. These villas were expansive complexes that included gorgeously designed gardens that were ornamented with statues, fountains, and elaborate mosaics. The Villa of the Mysteries in Pompeii is without a doubt one of the most well-known residences in the ancient city. This mansion is famous for the magnificent frescoes that decorate its walls, 
the paintings portray obscure religious rites. The fact that scholars have been scratching their heads for centuries over the significance of these images lends an aura of mystery to the already intriguing remains of Pompeii. Not only were the villas of Pompeii extravagant places to live, but they were also representations of wealth and power. The elaborate decorations, the beautiful mosaics that graced their floors, and the large courtyards all represented the luxury lifestyle that was lived by the upper class. The fateful day, eruption of Mount Vesuvius. But as we know, Pompeii's story took a tragic turn on August 24, 79 AD. The powerful Mount Vesuvius, which had been dormant for ages, erupted with inconceivable intensity, burying the city in a thick layer of volcanic ash and pumice. An illustration depicting the eruption of Mount Vesuvius. The eruption came on suddenly and was extremely destructive. The people living in Pompeii did not have much time to get away. Ashes and other debris fell from the sky, covering everything in their path and plunging the city into complete darkness as they descended. The casts in plaster of the victims from Pompeii. Pompeii was forgotten after being buried under the layers of time, which resulted in the loss of thousands of lives. The city, which had been abandoned for centuries, was not found again until the 18th century, when it was found frozen in time. The Preservation of Pompeii The extraordinary state of Pompeii's preservation is what distinguishes it as a standalone archaeological site. The dense blanket of ash served as a protective barrier, encasing the city and all of its residents in a time capsule. When the excavations were first started, researchers discovered a rich mine of artifacts. These artifacts included sculptures, everyday things, and even the remains of the people who had lived in the city. Plaster casts formed from the cavities left by the remains after they had decayed provide us with a grim view into the final moments of individuals who were imprisoned in Pompeii. The state of preservation allows us to piece together the daily life of the ancient Romans, offering invaluable insights into their culture, architecture, and social hierarchy. The ongoing excavations in Pompeii have, over the course of time, uncovered a great many mysteries, which have shed light on the lives of the people who live there. The graffiti that can be discovered on the walls of the city provides a window into the day-to-day -day concerns and aspirations of the people who live there. Even in modern times, it is possible to observe things like political campaigns, vows of love, and even insults. The dwellings of Pompeii reveal stories of social rank and riches. We get a taste of the opulent lifestyle that the upper class used to enjoy thanks to the well-preserved furnishings, as well as the ornate frescoes and beautiful mosaic floors. Another intriguing and intriguing look into the city's secrets can be had by visiting Pompeii's brothels, a facet of ancient Roman culture that is sometimes ignored in historical texts is brought to light through explicit graffiti and eroticized works of art. These discoveries throw into question our preconceived notions about ancient civilizations and serve as a timely reminder that human nature has remarkably remained the same throughout history. The lost city of Pompeii continues to grab our imagination with its secrets and stories preserved in time. As we make our way through the ancient streets of this town, we can't help but feel a profound connection to the people who once called this place home, but had their lives cut tragically short by the wrath of Mount Vesuvius. As we dig deeper into the ruins of Pompeii in search of its long-lost treasures, we are brought face-to-face -face with the precarious nature of human life, as well as the enduring influence of the past. The city's preservation serves as a testament to the indomitable spirit of the people who lived and died here, leaving behind a legacy that continues to fascinate and educate us to this day. We are grateful that you were able to accompany us on this engrossing excursion through the ruins of Pompeii. We hope you enjoyed this exploration of its haunting past. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to join us on our next adventure into the mysteries of the ancient world. Continue your travels and don't ever stop acquiring new knowledge until then. Don't forget to let us know your valuable opinion in the comment box below. Please remember to hit the bell icon to subscribe to our channel for more historical informative videos. Have a nice day. Thank you for watching.